And the Public Accounts Committee Chair, Ababu Namwamba, can tonight breathe a sigh of relief after he survived a no-confidence vote as chairman of that Public Accounts Committee. This is after members opposed to his leadership failed to marshal the support of at least 14 MPs. Members of the committee met this morning to determine whether he will remain as chair or be removed and ODM asked to name a replacement. Some members of the Public Accounts Committee indicated that they had no confidence in their chairman and wanted him replaced. Timothy Otieno tells us more. Chairman Ababu Namwamba has survived a near ouster today after a special sitting convened to decide his fate voted in favor of keeping him as the committee's chair. No, they were, the allegations were baseless. There was no evidence. They were unsubstantiated. And our standing order number 91 is very clear. If you can't, if you don't have a substantiated claim, you forget about it. Babu survived the ouster that would have seen him out of one of the most powerful committees in the country. And so today, I am happy because my name has been cleared. And if anybody has any doubts about my integrity, I challenge you, take this to any level, and I would be available to confront any allegations for purposes of clearing my name. For the chair of the committee to be removed, 14 out of the 26 members in the committee needed to have voted on the motion against Namwamba. In today's vote, only 13 were for his removal. It's an outcome that has not gone down well with some of the committee members present. I think it is important at this particular time for the anti-corruption to come in and we investigate this matter fully because we want a committee that is disciplined. We want a committee that can do things for the people of Kenya. We want a committee that has no corruption at all. But when members start calling one another names, creating stories to divert attention, it becomes ambiguous and sad. But Ababu insists the tension within the committee has been caused by political detractors bent on seeing his downfall. Park is too important to be taken hostage by external forces that have ulterior motives whose agenda is merely to interfere with the work of, of PAC and also with the work of the National Assembly. The chair insists his name is clean and now hopes to work on gaining full confidence of his team ahead of pending audit reports that his committee is set to vet. Timothy Otieno, KTN.